What's your relationship with water? Besides the human body being made of 60% water, we're dependent on water in so many ways. To survive, first off, we have to drink it. We also need it to shower, to cook food, to go for a swim, and most definitely to explore. About 71% of the Earth's surface is water covered, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water, so there's a lot to explore. Probably more than we think, but that's the exciting part, right? and maybe a little scary. Are you ready to find out what's out there in the watery abyss? 15 Most Terrifying Things Recently Discovered Underwater <laughs> Chernobyl Scuba Stalkers Their name might sound like a gang of roaming bandits that could emerge during the end days of the apocalypse. But there is an entire culture of people that have joined in on the adventure. The stalkers, as they're called, don radioactive protective gear and dive into all the mysteries that Chernobyl may yet hold. While the government certainly did their part in wiping the area clean of any evidence, the timing of the whole thing didn't leave much quality checking to be possible. Nevertheless, the stalkers hope to turn up something interesting. The long-term effects and death count of Chernobyl incidents are controversial and hard near impossible to quantify. The World Health Organization reported that a total of 4,000 deaths have been linked to the event, including those who died in the initial disaster and cancer cases that have developed and continue to do so. That's simply all those have been reported, including the numbers of the lost and unknown. The disaster was unprecedented. Most agree the number is widely underestimated and will eventually reach 100,000. As the first generation of Ukrainians born after the Chernobyl disaster aged, the small subculture of stalkers has been defying prohibitions and illegally entering the still highly radioactive exclusion zone. The group is actively monitored, tracked, and pursued by the police. Their reputation towards journalists isn't the best either. The group crawls through the forbidden, hoping to recover meaning from Soviet waste and take digital seizures to new extremes. One of the so-called stalkers was quoted of their actions, it's a post-apocalyptic romance. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. A water deity is a god or goddess in mythology associated with water or various bodies of water and was actually more important among civilizations in which the sea or ocean, or a great river, was very important. For example, Amphitrite, in Greek mythology, is the goddess of the sea, wife of the god Poseidon, or Father Thames, the guardian of the river Thames that flows through southern England. His ancient worship is obscure. He has become a popular symbol of the river, the subject of the song Old Father Thames, and the model of several statues and reliefs scattered around London. But is this strange and huge creature swimming past a relatively tiny scuba diver anything like a god or goddess? Is it a monster? or a giant robot mermaid, unlike anything we've ever seen. There's lots of stories about legendary half-fish, half-women luring sailors to their death in the ocean. What about the Little Mermaid? This creature is nowhere near little. It's literally huge. And what's with those gills and reptilian-like skin? That's a lot of questions, we know, but the one most important has to be, what would you do if this swam past you? Let's get the conversation started in the comments below and use the hashtag sweet topic. Sunken cruise ship. Humans have long sailed the seas for longer than any historical recordings. So it's safe to say that somewhere out there in the vastness of the ocean, there is a treasure trove of human relics. Either that or just a bunch of trash. Some ships are subject to the violence of open ocean storms and mother nature herself. Others fall victim to human complacency and error. The last bit falls just over the line of idiocy, and the captain's charging of 16 years in jail for his negligence is proof of that. He even turned himself in out of guilt. When you set out on a cruise liner, passengers are ready to melt away their stress and be out in the middle of nowhere to enjoy some true peace and quiet. Unfortunately for these passengers, the captain, later referred to as Captain Coward, forced it to sink when it was entirely preventable. Convicted of multiple counts of manslaughter, he was doomed to live his life in his prison for the rest of life. After causing a maritime accident, he abandoned the ship and all 4,229 people to their fates without issuing proper instructions. Among hundreds of others, victims included a five-year-old girl and her father, a musician who gave up his seat on a lifeboat for someone else, 
and a woman who died on impact after being thrown from the sinking liner into the freezing waters below. Divers were commanded into the scene in the last rescue effort. Creepy Sculpture Human art has only just begun to touch the bottom of the oceans. Museums around the world now host dozens of underwater aquatic exhibits where artists come and try to create an entirely new form of art. Most have taken to the seas to bring awareness to the dwindling conditions of the ocean and seek to inspire others to create and pay more attention to our life-giving pool. By using green materials, artists have found a new way to create homes for our underwater brethren. The Great Coral Reef has notably been one of the greatest impacted habitats of the ocean, and these art exhibits are seeking to offer shelter to the homeless aquatic creatures forced out from their reef. It didn't take the creatures long before realizing the new homes were available, and soon was swarming with life. Dubbed the Ocean Utopia by artist Val, he's done just that. It can be considered a work of art at an ecological project to preserve and protect the ocean. According to the artist himself, above all, is a dream come true of Val, the energetic 40-something sculptor famed across Asia and beyond for her lanky, faceless, and slender man-styled bronze characters that appear to be strolling the corners of the world as if in a perpetual quest for meaning, much like humans do every day. Her characters are oddly seductive and alluring. <laughs> Birdcage Cave It was referred to as Nohawk Na Cheek in Mayan, which roughly translates into Giant Bird Cage. The easily accessible cenote is a popular diving location with certified diving guides around Cancun and Playa del Carmen. To casual snorkeling, it's part of the Yucatan's immeasurable Sac Actun cave system, whose complex system of tunnels stretches for more than 216 miles into the ocean and 5 miles inland. The underwater caves of ancient Maya were believed to be sacred portals leading to the underworld. As you might imagine, most of the tribe's people stayed clear of the area. Accidentally slipping and falling into the underworld was not on anyone's agenda. However, the system is currently entirely flooded, meaning divers need to take particular care in the pathing they choose. As complex and impressive as the tunnels might be to them, it's just as quickly dangerous and divers might find themselves trapped easily. Its deepest point can be found at a location referred to as the Blue Abyss, a whopping 235-foot deep cenote. <laughs> Saturation Diving It's considered one of the world's most hazardous jobs, and they love every second of it. Despite its dangers, it's one of the least known, most dangerous, and weirdest professions on the planet. Called Saturation Divers, their job is basically that of a construction worker, except for underwater sometimes in the extremes of 1,000 feet deep. Can you imagine the pressures one would have to work in, both literally and figuratively? As we all know, pressure grows as you get deeper into the ocean and requires special training to be handled. If improperly handled, the pressure, or even the return to the surface too fast, could kill you in an agonizing but quick way. Diving to such depths, really any depths, involves breathing pressurized air. This air has inert gases in it like nitrogen intended to dissolve benignly into your blood and tissues to keep a safe pressure level in the body. That so long as the weight of all the water on top of the divers keeps them compressed. This allows them to handle the deep pressures, but on return to the surface, it could mean death. A diver must slowly rise and re-equal out his pressure. Divers have been known to take hours upon hours to readjust. That pressurized gas needs time to diffuse out slowly or it will all come out at once, which as you might imagine would be painful. A diver who shoots straight to the surface, the gas would form bubbles inside the body, like a shaken carbonated can. Inside would be millions of tiny explosives detonating. This process is known to divers as the bends, or more scientifically speaking, decompression sickness. The incident could be painful and debilitating and depending on the depth, nearly impossible to survive. For example, diving to 250 feet for an hour would require a five-hour ascent to avoid the issue. The place you can touch two continents. The great severing of the continent Pangaea left us with the world and landscapes you know and love today. These continents are actually categorized based on their location atop a piece of Pangaea. Today, we call those pieces tectonic plates. Atop one tectonic plate exists a continent. Atop another plate, another continent. 
If you're a diver, you get to see these plates on an otherworldly level with that in mind. The Silfra Fischer in Iceland is a hot spot for snorkeling and diving because the ravine is between two tectonic plates. Here you can get an up close and personal look at a deep tectonic plate. The North American and Eurasian tectonic plates have been slowly moving apart at a rate of about 2 centimeters a year. That may not seem like a lot, but when you consider the pure mass of these continents, you genuinely get the sense that nothing on Earth is permanent. Everything is changing, and if we fail to do the same, history will repeat itself as it always has with those that fail to adapt. Deadly Whirlpool Any kind of diving has its fair share of dangers. Heck, anytime you get in the water, there's some level of danger. On the other hand, divers deal with the worst of the worst when it comes to the dangers of the oceans. It's one scary place to be, from dangerous creatures that live within our ocean itself. Whirlpools, deadly water vortexes, are one of the many higher level dangers. This is why divers are urged in training to never swim into a vortex. You might think you're invincible and can escape, but the power of mother nature shouldn't be meddled. Vortex currents are known to occur at a few diver sites known around the world, so experts know very little about them. They can form in a pattern of horizontal bubbles that snake through the water like a living creature. They move and can pull in even the strongest swimmers in the ocean. If the animals that live there even have a difficult time and avoid them, humans should too. Deep Sea Cemetery Ancient-looking columns guarded by stone lions are how you are greeted when you enter through the entryway to a lost city that can be found 40 feet below the surface of the water. Complete with stone roads, rising gates, and crumbling ruins, this modern-day cemetery took the aesthetic of the ancients but with a modern-day philosophy, helping the ocean. Initially named the Atlantis Memorial Reef, the so-called Lost City is actually part of a cemetery that doubles as an artificial reef. The project was sponsored by a cremation company named the Neptune Society. You can find it about three miles off the coast of Key Biscayne in Miami. It was designed by Florida artist Kim Brandle and opened in 2007. While fish love it as a new home, it also offers some advantages to human society. Cremated remains are cast into concrete memorials and placed inside the sunken graveyard, where divers and snorkelers alike can explore or visit with their past loved ones. In addition, a famed shipwreck diver, once listed as the oldest living scuba diver in the Guinness Book of World Records, is entombed here in a place of honor at the top of one of the entry columns of the reef gate. The 16-acre underwater cemetery is mainly made of concrete and bronze with steel accents. While it was designed to house the ashes of many people in the future, it was also designed to form a habitable marine environment for fish and coral to thrive, for which they have. In the end, they ended up creating a city of the dead that's both stunning and unbelievably creepy. Who knows, one society in the future could look back and wonder what in the world they were doing there. <laughs> Giant Sea Cockroaches As, as if they weren't bad enough on land, researchers have discovered that there are aquatic roaches as well, and to make matters worse, they're giant. All kinds of incredible discoveries are waiting in the deepest unexplored ocean areas, and these giant roaches are one of the newest. Experts have said that the new species discovery is an indicator of just how little we know about the oceans and the world. What puzzle piece of the mystery lies waiting to be discovered down there? Scientists are even wondering if some of life's most outstanding questions answers are down there as well. Just in the past few years, many new species have been reeled in from the deep ocean including the deepest dwelling fish known to man, the hairy-chested hoff crab. The team who made the discovery says it's yet another clear example of prolific deep-sea gigantism, a scientific observation that says creatures that dwell in the deep grow much more prominent than their relatives in shallower waters on land. The average isopods measure less than 10 millimeters in length, but the species of supergiant isopod genus grow to be more than 30 times larger. A terrifying notion if you think about all the other insect-like creatures scurrying through the darkness. Do not enter. There are some places that all divers know are the most dangerous of all. However, that doesn't mean any of them stop diving into their complex tunnels. Florida's famous Guinea Springs is one of the most hazardous and all divers know it. Just before entering the complex tangle of tunnels filled with water, a sign greets each diver with the image of the Grim Reaper and an equally dire message. 
It reads that many have passed, and going any further beyond that sign leaves the state free from backlash. This is the point of no return for many and still stands as one of the most popular diving spots on Earth. For the average adrenaline junkie out there, this is not for you. This diving area is not for the faint of heart at all and requires excellent diving and navigational skills. Remember, as you sink deeper into the ocean, the pressure will begin to affect the mind in ways never before altered. Just because you think you know your way back doesn't mean you'll be able to remember when it comes time to leave. Ancient Sharks For whatever reason, humans have a weird fascination with sharks. I mean, there are entire weeks on TV dedicated to those creatures. Though what remains a mystery, one thing will always remain accurate. The mysteries and terror surrounding them will be ever-present in humans. The Greenland shark may look dull-witted, then it does ferocious, but it does still serve a force of nature not to be reckoned with. With their soft fins utilized for slow swimming in the cold arctic waters and their blunt snouts atop a gaping mouth, they look much different from many sharks. Experts have observed the Greenland shark to be the preferred host to a worm-like parasite that dangles from their eyeballs. These visible parasites flow through the water, off the shark, like hair flowing. When it comes to a meal, they'll devour pretty much anything they can sink their teeth into. This ancient creature is one of the oldest known species. You can often find them wolfing down halibut just as well as rotting carcasses on the bottom of the ocean. All in all, this shark is nasty enough to allow parasites to hang from its eyeballs and eat rotten food. Today, Greenland sharks are mostly ignored by other creatures in the scientific community. In fact, experts have referenced catching one today as welcomed as stepping in dog poop. What is today's garbage was the gold of yesterday, and the Greenland shark was once widely hunted for their liver oil. The decline in whale species saw more of the Greenland hunted instead. This shark is as gross as some of the nastiest bottom feeders in the ocean and stands among the world's most giant sharks. <coughs> Terrifying Well With a year-round temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, Jacob's Well is a popular swim spot that all Texans love to visit and cool off. Too bad this also makes it one of the most dangerous. It's often crowded, despite its relatively small entry to the swimming hole. Unfortunately, it's also a popular spelunking location, leaving many just wanting to dip their feet into its cooling water fighting for space. It's easy to see how the swimming location got its name with just a 13-foot wide opening with a treacherous chasm so round and smooth that it's often mistaken as something human-made. Thanks to overwhelming evidence of its dangers from past incidents, most people just sit atop the well, dipping their legs and feet into its cooling waters. Others could find this hole much more perilous. A careless diver could quickly get turned around and stuck in this well's many dead-end tunnels. Only the most daring and adventurous divers, maybe even a little insane, will attempt to navigate the pitch-black depths of the tunnels below. According to reports, nine people have died in Jacob's well, and all of them were trained divers with many hours under their belt. Because of this, the state has been forced to close it to the public more than once, but that doesn't stop anyone from going. Slender Squid This creature is nothing short of terrifying and oddly reminiscent of the slender horrors pervading modern society. The way it floats about the water, those tendrils hanging far below its body is enough to send chills down the bravest of spines. This creature is called the Magna Pinna Squid, also known as the Big Fin Squid. It resembles a ghastlier paranormal creature than it does sea creatures. To be fair, the distinction is a hard line to differentiate when it comes to the many bizarre creatures of the ocean. It's possible humans got their inspiration for sheeted ghosts from these monsters because that can easily be mistaken as one. War of the world's death machines, anyone? It's no wonder these things evoke such dread in humans when they're reminiscent of so many things they fear. The rare film capturing of the creature gives researchers an excellent look at its long fins, which make up 90% of its body length. They use those long tendril-like fins as a lure for prey. The largest ever discovered measured 10 feet long. Thinking the tendrils are a food source, prey swims to them and gets snatched up into the squid's mouth high above. In essence, this squid is fishing. Huge Treasure Haul A US-based deep-sea exploration company recently recovered a whopping 48 tons of silver from a sunken British cargo ship 
downed by a torpedo during World War II. The SS Gersopa was catastrophically hit by a torpedo by a German U-boat around 300 miles off Ireland's coast in 1941. For years, it sat undisturbed at an incredible 15,420 feet deep. The salvage firm responsible for the recovery said it's the heaviest and deepest recovery of precious metals from a shipwreck ever made and was well worth the challenge. After all is said and done, the salvage company will keep 80% of the worth of silver. <coughs> underwater Garden Nemo's Garden is being hailed as one of the world's most unique underwater research projects in decades. The project was founded by the director of Ocean Reef a company at the forefront of underwater technology that made itself known for developing full face masks and underwater communication systems. Nemo's garden started with an idea. Would it be possible to grow terrestrial plants underwater? Growing plants in the marine environment on paper works relatively well. There is a near constant temperature, the environment is protected from crop destroying pests, and space, for the time being, is nearly limitless. In fact, aside from salt water, it's a perfect place to grow plants and eventually complete fields of crops. The team aims to create a substitute system of agriculture that can be implemented in areas where traditional land agriculture is impossible or will eventually get there. Harsh climates near oceans could thrive with life once more. Deep sea divers are at the forefront of ocean discovery. Whenever they turn up something new, you better believe the internet is the place where you'll hear and see it. As this list demonstrates, the ocean will likely forever spit out new and surprising things at humans for as long as we live on the planet. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.